channel so today we are looking at interjections if you don't know what those are stay tuned you are actually at the right place in front of you right now it is miss q miss Kauka, and don't forget to subscribe and yeah don't miss out on any other videos okay tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe to this channel all right let's get into this one hey guys so as we said we are looking at interjections what are interjections they are a word or phrase that is grammatically independent of the words around it and it mainly expresses feeling rather than meaning. These words express a strong sense of emotion and a feeling such as surprise, shock, fear, you name it. Okay, And these words are usually followed by exclamation marks because they express strong emotion. So interjections are usually one word and it does not influence the grammar of a sentence in any way ne? interjections usually stand alone and they are able to make sense while they stand alone let us look at examples of these okay so as i said they are usually followed by exclamations but this is not always the case but in most cases it is because they express strong emotion now let's look at the examples so we have an interjection of pain which can be ouch ne? and then we have um, interjections that express doubt which will be like ah um and you know when somebody starts to say that you can see you know, they are doubting what you are saying or they are doubting what is being said all right so let's look at the three examples ew that looks disgusting so that you can stand by itself. I don't even need to finish the sentence and say that looks disgusting because the you in itself is enough to get you to understand what I am trying to say. Okay. And also when I say yay, and you can see over there we have three ellipses. That means the sentence is still continuing. But if I say yay, that means I am happy or excited about something, you know, and if I say, oops, that means I either dropped something or there is just something that is wrong. Okay, so I hope that makes sense and you now understand what interjections are. So the you would be an interjection of disgust or repulsion and then yay would be an interjection of surprise or happiness or joy. All right, and I hope this helps you understand what interjections are and you are well informed on the different parts of speech. So we are nearing the end of our parts of speech. As we have established in the first video of parts of speech, we have eight parts of speech. Okay, so practice those in your own spare time and refer back to the videos if you need more understanding and rewatch and rewatch. It will make sense. All right, so this is me. Mustauka and I hope we will see you next time. Bye!